One today reviewing the Toyota Tundra 2023 model. As you can see, this is the standard uh, trim model for the Tundra, as you can see from the reflector headlights. Uh, it comes pretty uh, standard with a lot of nice LED and a lot of nice features here. Uh, drives like a truck. There hasn't been much that changed in terms of that. It drives a lot more compliant than the prior um, Tundra uh, with the new suspension and whatnot. This is the back of it. I like the LEDs. Has a ton of room in the back right there. Um, of course, it says SR5, so this is the trim model. It's pretty much the basic trim model in terms of that. So let me go ahead and open it right here. Uh, and, you know, there's a crew crab, uh, I mean crew uh, cab, so fairly small. Cloth seats, very nice, very plush, very comfortable. Um, the back, not only the back, but also the front has a um, signal indicating turn signals. Um, Daytime running lights in terms of that. Just gonna open it up right here. This is the inside. And uh, there's our dog right there jumping in. Uh-uh. Uh, nice um, display unit right there in terms of that. And uh, you've got different type of uh, drive selectors and drive modes. So you got uh, two high, four high, four low. You've got this terrain sec uh, indicator or whatnot. Overall, it's a very nice vehicle. Uh, pretty, uh, it comes standard proof. Pretty much really nice stuff. Uh, Bluetooth and all that. Come on, Topper. So uh, overall, I like the vehicle a lot. It drives very high off the ground, which I love that about trucks. A lot of trucks are kind of becoming more aerodynamic due to fuel efficiency. Makes sense with the EPA guidelines and whatnot, but. Uh, in terms of this vehicle, uh, it has a very good, um, very good uh, seating and whatnot. So, any questions? Feel free to comment down below. Happy to answer them. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks.